So as many of you guys may know, I live in Canada, so when I buy comics on eBay from American sellers, I often have to deal with eBay's Global Shipping Center. Now, eBay's Global Shipping Center not only has ridiculous high prices all over the board for shipping to Canada, sometimes the same quantity of book will cost me $15 and with another package it's going to cost me $25. The same quantity of books. So the same weight, basically. So, yeah, that's one problem. The other problem is the way they sh sometimes ship the packages. So this morning I got a package with some books I've been waiting for a long, long time. And this is how it was shipped. So the box was closed this way. And so you see I used a knife to cut open here. And ta-da! No protection. No comic bags, no boards. And they put all of the stuffing paper underneath. And they put the comic book on top like this. And then they close the box. And naturally you, you're gonna open the box where the, the uh, address tag is because this is supposed to be the top of the box, but no protection. I was very lucky that I, I didn't cut the first comic on top. But yeah, that's what we have to deal with in Canada with the rotten eBay Global Shipping Service. High prices and very poor packaging and also very long time in the shipping. You have to wait longer when you use global shipping than anything else because the eBay seller first sent the comics to uh, the global shipping center and then at the center sometimes they will just keep the comics as is in the same package and ship it to Canada and sometimes they will put it in a box like this and really bad packaging because the people packaging those things aren't comic book sellers so they don't know the value of it they don't care they just put it in a box and ship it as is so that's my rant for today and now on to show the comics so i was shopping on ebay searching for some of my 2021 most wanted books so i entered the name of series issue number and i came to second one four color number 1085 which is the movie adaptation of H.G. Wells' The Time Machine, this book here. And it's not easy to find. Right now, as I uh, tape this, there's not one copy available on eBay. And when they show, they're always in bad condition. And also, they're always very pricey. 50 bucks and more sometimes. So, I find on eBay that day, a lot of 8 Dell Comics that are all movie adaptations or TV adaptations for 40 bucks. Most of the book looks like in mid-grade, such as this one, a lot of spine ticks, but it's still in nice condition, everything's attached, it's complete, very readable, and even in this condition, I, I think 40 bucks just for this book would have been a great deal. But not only did it have this book, but it have seven other books and one other, I think that's even more valuable than this one. So the other book I spotted right away was this one. Rio Bravo, the uh, adaptation of the Western movie by Howard Ox with John Wayne, Dean Martin, Ricky Nelson. It's my favorite Western of all time. I have here the Ultimate Collector Edition of Rio Bravo with a lot of extras. And this set actually comes with a copy of the original movie program and it came with a mini size Rio Bravo comic. Very small. But eh, that's all I had until now because this comic book Rio Bravo always sell for crazy money on eBay. First of all because it crosses two type of collectors, the movie, the western movie collectors and the comic book collectors and also collectors of Alex Tote because Alex Tote drew this comic book and western movie fans love John Wayne so they will pick up anything with John Wayne on the cover so this usually goes around a hundred dollars 
and this is a really not bad shape it, it, it's not pristine mint of course it's mid-grade but it's a very nice upper mid-grade I would say and like I said just the time machine book I would have bought it for forty dollars even in, in this condition mid-grade and then you get the bonus Rio Bravo worth to my knowledge at least a hundred dollars in this condition so I put down the minimum bid forty dollars and a week after that I was sure I would be hog bidded I was sure the auction would go for at least a hundred bucks and more but no I want it with the minimum bid forty dollars and aside from these two books I also got a hundred pager of Walt Disney's David Crockett King of the Wild Frontier I already have this book in my collection in a slightly better shape than this one so this one will go in my giveaway yes stay tuned because uh, in a future episode I will do a giveaway of 10 hundred pager comic books to celebrate the fact that during the holidays I passed a uh, hundred subs on my channel so stay tuned for that so this will go in the pile of uh, hundred pager that I will give away I also got this one, uh, four color number 631, uh, Walt Disney, Davy Crockett, the Engine Fighter, which was one of the episodes in the original Disneyland TV series, Frontierland, uh, where Davy Crockett appeared for the first time on Disney. And also, I have a better copy of this one, so I will send this in an A OK. But I didn't have this one here. And I think it's one of the better shape of the Davy Crockett's, which is actually four color number 671 from 1955. Of all the three Davy Crockett's, this is uh, the only one I didn't already have, so I'm very happy to add this to my collection. Another bonus for me was this one, four color number 1139, Spartacus, the movie adaptation. This uh, is not only a great movie, the comic is in decent shape as well. Mid-grade, but upper mid-grade. If you look at the border here of a black cover, there's no real damage. There's some spine ticks, of course, on the spine. But uh, it's a very nice copy. And also the art inside is by John Buscema. So... So this is a book I already have. I also showed it in another uh, episode. This is a uh, four color number 588 from 1954. It's an adaptation of the movie King Richard and the Crusaders. And the art inside is by Matt Baker. Gorgeous art. And the last book. I hope it won't crumble. That <laughs> you, I don't know if you saw it. There's a piece coming up. The, the cover is detached, it actually sh they didn't even actually show the cover uh, on the auction page but it has a cover, just not attached. It's too bad but still I can live with one bad comics in a lot that cost me only $40 and worth probably around $150 usually. Uh, so it's a four color number 1052 It's the movie adaptation of the MGM's Ben Hur with Charlton Heston, and the art inside is by Ross Manning. But this is a book I know I can find for cheap, so it doesn't bother me too much. I knew right from the start that it would come in pieces like this. It's complete, so I can still read it. I was very happy with this. And before I leave you, just wanted to tell you I'm gonna do a full episode. Uh, it will be a short one, but still I'm gonna do an episode just on this book. I want to do, every time I'll, I'll cross-check a, a book from my 2021 Most Wanted list, one of the 10 books here, I'm gonna do a separate video uh, explaining to you why this was on my list and also why you should maybe get it also for yourself so, because they're all great comics. So stay tuned for an episode on this one. And also, as I said earlier, I'm gonna do a giveaway soon of 10 thick 100 pages comic books from the Golden Age, Bronze Age and a couple of uh, Modern Age to celebrate uh, the fact that during the holidays I've passed the 100 subscriber on my channel. So thank you everyone for 
subscribing, keep on posting comments. Uh, this is my salary when I make videos, uh, when I read your comments, it makes my day every time. So that's it for this video and since this one was all about uh, movie adaptations in a comic book format, I'm going to dedicate this one to Jay from the Over Easy Mode channel as a lot of his videos uh, have to do with the relationship between comic books and TV series and movies. Uh, Jay is also a very active member of the comic book community on YouTube. He leaves a lot of comments to other people's videos and also he participates a lot in uh, live streams. Speaking of live streams, on Saturday he and his uh, friend, another famous YouTuber called Genome Presents, do a live stream of a movie. So Jay actually live stream a movie on a different platform, which I cannot remember the name right now. And Genome Presents a live stream a chat room uh, where you can watch the movie and chat with a bunch of cool guys. So yeah, very fun. So that's it for today. Until we meet again, happy trails everyone.